in a race by faith, amen to God, because that's the only thing that pleases God is faith, amen to God. And when you mix your praying with faith, amen to God, you're going to have something mighty happen. I wish somebody would agree with this white boy preacher. Amen to God. Hallelujah. When you mix your praying with faith, you're going to see something great happen. Come on. Praise God. You're going to be baking spiritual cakes, amen to God. Passing them out, amen to God. Because prayer attracts things, amen. Prayer attracts the attention of God, amen. Come on. Hallelujah. The most important thing prayer must change, amen to God, if I'm to experience in continual joy, is me. Come it's on. got to change me, amen yeah. to God. It's got, I've got to allow it to change me, hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Prayer will change your no's into yeses, amen. Come on. Oh, I wish somebody would help me tonight. Come on. Prayer will change your will into God's will. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. And that's what we need today. We need to drop our will and let God's will be done. God's will be done is what Jesus said. Glory yeah. to God. Prayer will do that. Hallelujah. Amen. Prayer will change your protest into a praise for the King of Kings. Praise Amen. Praise the Lord. Prayer will change what you profess into what you practice. Yeah. Is that all right? That's good. It will change what you profess into what you practice. Amen. You've heard the old saying, practice what you preach. Yeah. Well, you can't do it without prayer. Come on. You said, Brother Mike, you, you're talking about prayer a lot because that's what we need today is prayer. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Number two, without prayer, I cannot receive help from the Lord. Amen. Come on. Amen. Praise God. Because I have to ask, I have to make my prayers known unto Him. See, He knows what you need before you ask Him, but He wants you to ask Him. Come on. Hallelujah. You know, when you've got children, they come and constantly ask you for things, praise God, because that's what they want. That's what Amen. they need. Amen. And until, praise God, they can't get it until they ask the mother or the father. Amen? Come on. You've got to ask. Yeah. Hallelujah. But the problem is we're not asking today. Or if we are asking, we're asking in a selfish manner. Come on. We're asking, Lord, give me, give me, give me. But we don't dare, praise God, give up our will. We want our will to be done, not His will. Amen. Thank God in the Garden of Gethsemane, Jesus, hallelujah. Jesus, He could have got in the flesh and He could have said, Lord, I'm not doing this. Come on. My soul's in agony. Yeah. I don't want to go to the cross. Come on. I don't want to be beat like a dog. Come on. I know what's coming, Lord, but, but Lord, He could have done that if He got in the flesh. But that's why he prayed. Everything, praise God, when Jesus did something, he prayed before he did it. Amen to God. Before any miracles ever happened, Jesus prayed. Amen? Come on. Look at your neighbor and say, I need to pray more. I need to pray more. Glory to God. Prayer is a must if you're going to continue on in your walk with Jesus. Amen? Amen. You can't receive no help from God without prayer. Hallelujah. Amen. James 4 3 declares, Ye ask and receive not, because ye ask amiss that ye may consume it upon your lust. Yeah. Selfish praying. We need to pray the will of God. You say, how do you pray the will of God? Pray the Word. Come on. You know, if you take your Word, your King James Bible, and you pray the Word, yeah. that's the will of God. Amen. 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 If you pray the Word, you can't be led astray by the devil. Yeah. If you hide the Word in your heart, praise God, the devil can't get you all mixed up because you know the Word of God. Amen. And the Spirit will bear witness with that Word. Amen? Come on. Glory to God. That's some good preaching. I thought this made me good that. preaching. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Brother Billy. Amen. Chris, you should be helping me. Amen, too. Praise God. You know this. Come on. Praise God. I appreciate it, Brother Chris. He's a blessing. He's, he helps me out. Amen to God at the Amen. nursing home. And I thank God for him. I love him and appreciate him. Amen. He's 20 years old. I call him my Timothy. Come on. Amen to God. Thank God for him for his willingness. Amen to God. Praise the Lord. And he knows how to pray. Hallelujah to God. Come on. I need prayer. I just go to him. If I know we need prayer request, brother, pray. Amen to God. He Come can on. pray. Go over to God. Don't let him fool you. Amen to God. He don't say much, but he can pray. Come on. Hallelujah. Prayer is a key that opens. You know, you've heard this saying, it's a key that opens the door. I changed that. Prayer is a key that opens the store. Go on! Oh, 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 prayer oh, is a key that opens the storehouse in heaven. Go on. Come on. Releases the blessings of God on you. Amen? That's good preaching. Matthew chapter 7, verses 7 through 11. Ask, and it shall be given you. Now, I didn't make this up. This is 
Word of God from a King James. Amen. Come this on. is the Lord speaking this. Yeah. Ask and it shall be given you. Seek and you shall find. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. Come on now. Come on. Hallelujah. Everyone that asketh receiveth. Yeah. And he that seeketh findeth, and to him that knocketh it shall be opened. Or what 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 man is there of you whom if his son asks bread, will he give him a stone? Or if he asks a fish, will he give him a serpent? If ye then be an evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children. Oh man. Uh oh. Glory. Right. Come on. How much more? Come on now. Hallelujah. How much more? This is Jesus asking the question. How much more shall your Father, which is in heaven, give good thanks to them that ask of Him? Amen. How much more? Praise God. Come on. Brother Billy, how much more yeah. shall your Father give to you? Come on. It rains on the just and the unjust. But praise God, when you are walking, amen to God, in His will, praise God, and you are living right and doing what He asks you to do, Come God on. is going to bless you, praise God. Amen. God doesn't turn a deaf ear to your prayers. Amen to God. He hears everything that you pray, praise God. Sometimes the answer may take a little bit. If you remember back in Daniel, when Daniel prayed, hallelujah to God, the answer was coming, but it was 21 days because there was a battle going on, Come praise on. God. And I tell you, prayer, amen to God, waiting on God will help you. There will strengthen you and will help you, praise God, be more like Jesus. Amen. So God here will give you what you ask Him. Amen to God. Amen. Hallelujah. He'll give, he gives good to the unjust. Come praise on. God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Come on, get excited about that. All right. Over in Luke chapter 11, verses 9 through 13, it says the same thing. But at the end on verse 13, there, there's, a, there's a switch here. Amen to God. It says, If ye then, being evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children, Luke eleven thirteen, how much oh glory, oh, how much more shall your heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to oh, the Hallelujah. Go over to God. See, He wants to give it to you. Amen. All you got to do is ask. Praise Amen. God. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. God wants to bless you and give to you. Praise God. He wants to meet your needs. Amen. Hallelujah. Man, amen to God. I thought people would be shouting. Praise the God. Lord. But, but this is a, a, a touchy subject on prayer, praise God. Yeah. Brother Mike, you, I'd rather you be preaching on kicking the devil in the ear, praise God. Man, I've got to preach this to you the way the Lord showed Come me. On. Hallelujah. Because I tell you, I've been liking more prayer in my life. Come I on. need more of it. God yeah. is waking me up every morning at 445 to pray, praise God, before Come I start on. the day. I amen. can't go without Him, amen to God. Oh, and I tell you, I've noticed the difference since I've been getting up in the early hours of the morning when there ain't no noise around, Come when there on. ain't nothing going on, it's still, and I can hear the voice of God better than before. Come on. Well, Brother Mike, you preach. You should be praying. I have prayed, but I need to pray more. More, yeah. Praise God. We need to pray more, whether we're preachers or just regular Come people. On. We need to pray regardless. Amen. Hallelujah. There's people going to hell tonight Come because on. we ain't praying. Amen. Shame on the church. Come on. The church can be doing more. The harvest is great, but the laborers are few. Amen. Because we ain't praying. Yeah. Hallelujah to God. Come on. Instead, we want to send people to seminars Come to on. teach them how to pray, to teach them how to witness. You don't need to spend a thousand dollars to go to some big name preacher seminar. What you need to do is take that thousand, put it in the offering plate, Come get on. down on your knees at your local assembly, and pray to the Lord. Amen. Praise God. If you don't want to go there, pray in your home. Yeah. Glory to God. Do like Daniel. Open the windows up and pray. Come on. And quit being ashamed of Jesus. Yeah. Because if you're ashamed of Jesus, He'll be ashamed of you. Come on. Woo! Glory to God. I know there's some preachers in the house that can help Come me. On. Amen. Glory to God. Good Glory to God. Come Preach on, Brother Mike. I Come will. On. Amen to God. Bring on down. A.W. Tosher. How many have ever heard of him? Amen. Amen. He says, as far as I can see, prayer has been ordained only for the helpless. Prayer and helplessness are inseparable. Only he who is helpless can truly pray. Why is it that we really know how to
to pray when we get down to the bottom. Yeah, come on. Amen to God. Why is it that, Brother Bill, when there's a tragedy, we call out to God? Come on. That'll Why is it, praise God, that on 9-11, and I'm going to get on this, praise God, that this country who says they're blessed and serving God, come we're on. not serving the Lord Jesus. This country's serving paganistic God. They've allowed the Muslim faith to come in and take over the God Allah. They don't want to hurt nobody's feelings. Well, I'll tell you one thing. The only God I'm going to pray to is the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, God. That is the one true God. Let me tell you, those people on 9-11, hallelujah, they seen the terrorists attack and the Twin Towers fall, and they run to church. Come on. They run, praise God, because they know, amen to God, that God, hallelujah, they need God. They need the Lord Jesus, praise God. They cry out to Him then. Four or five weeks later, they leave the church. They quit reading their Bibles. They quit talking and praying to God anymore. Why? Because they, they appeased their flesh, amen to God. Yeah. They did the motions, the rituals of things. Something's wrong today in the church. Come on. And, I tr and, and some's going to disagree with me on this, but I truly doubt if they even had a born-again experience. Come on. Because when you truly get saved, Brother Bill, you know this as well as I do, when you truly get born again, you have a desire to be with the Father. Come on. Amen. Glory to God. You have a desire to read the Word. You have a desire, amen, to God, to share your faith. You have a desire to help your brother in need, amen, to God. You want to do what God has called you to do. Come on. It ain't just on for three or four weeks and you walk away. I know we get burdened and we get... Uh, heavy laden with stuff at times, but praise God, if you're truly, amen to God, living and serving Jesus, He'll get you through. Come on. But He can't get you through if you don't talk to Him. Come on. Amen? Amen. A nation that wants you to, stay, amen to God, stand upon the Word of God. A nation, praise God, that the Word of God was the foundation for. Come on. We're in worse shape than those people in India over there that worship the snake gods. Yeah. You say, well, we don't have no idols setting up. Oh, Money. Yeah. Preachers. Come on. Come on now. Mm. Clothes. Come on. Men, women. Yeah. We've made idols out of things. Yeah. Now I'm going to hit this church thing a minute, praise God. We've made idols out of those on TBN. Thank God, hallelujah, that Jack Van Impey and them, I'm going to say it, praise God, hallelujah. I just found out from Brother Billy here yesterday, and I was reading on it today. Thank God that, that Jack Van Impey and them, praise God, called it like it was that Rick Warren and Robert Shooter, amen to God, tried to mix Christian faith and Islam faith, amen, amen to God. They tried to mix them so we can all come together and live yeah. in peace. I can't live in unity with the devil. Come on. Go with oh. God. Praise God. And God said, I wouldn't have to live in unity with the devil. Yeah. That's all it is. Because the devil will come disguised as an angel of the light. Yes, he is. And that's what he's doing. He's got those men so deceived, amen, to God. He's got Joel Osteen so deceived out there telling everybody it's going to be a positive message. Just preach a positive word to people. Don't preach on sin because that's negative. Don't preach on hell because it messes with their mindset. You better preach on sin. Oh. You better preach on hell because amen. hell is just as real as heaven is. The devil is just as real as Jesus is. Come on. That's why Jesus is warning you, turn away from your sin. Come to the cross. Come on. That's why we preach Christ and Him crucified. crucified. Yeah. I had a preacher up there in Hopkinsville tell me last week, he said, Brother Mike, the message of the cross is outdated. I said, oh, I beg to differ with you, oh, sir. I said, the message of the cross is, amen to God, amen. what we need to preach. Amen. I said, you read in your New Testament, praise God. I said, look in the Old Testament, everything points towards the cross. Amen. If you look to the cross, you'll live. Amen. Praise God. If you look to the cross, you'll get delivered. Come on. If America would look to the cross, yeah. we would be blessed. Amen. Hallelujah. That's why I oversee. I'm going to use this again. I'm repetitious with it. Y'all forgive me. But this map right here, blessed.